Now I'm just going to press Ctrl D or Command D to deselect the marquee, and then come to the pop-up menu on the side of the layers palette, go ahead and choose Flatten Image. We don't need these two layers separate at this point, or you could make a set and drag a set across. It's totally up to you. All we want to do now is get this into our image and apply the distortion. So once again, hit the V key to give you your move tool. Let's pull this image out of the way so we can see our composite behind and simply click and drag from one image into the other to apply this over the background. Now you may see what I'm seeing here on screen is some slight color distortion. That's purely the resolution that we are looking at this file. We're currently viewing this at 66.67%, which doesn't do very good anti-aliasing. So if I press Control Plus or Command Plus on the Mac at this point to enlarge my preview, you can see that the scan lines are now back together. Always worth pointing that out when you're working on images and quite unsure why everything looks slightly jagged. Now I'm just going to pull this over towards the left-hand side because we need to see what we're doing. And we can see that layer one has been added here in the layers palette. I'm just going to drag that down so it's just one layer above the background. Now any of the starfish that would happen to appear over the top, obviously that would help. Now the layer is selected. What I'm going to do is do free transform. Once again, control T or command T to give us the ability to move this image around, scale it down using the shift key if necessary. But what I'm going to do is actually position it so its lower right hand side is on one of these windows, just roughly around there. And then I'm going to hold down my control key or the command key on the Mac and you'll see your cursor changes to a gray arrow. This will allow you to then pull and bend this image around to suit the exact size you want it to be. So I'm actually going to take it up to the top right hand window here on the front of the building. Let's keep the control or command key held down and just drag this image around again. Let's maybe pull this across to the third window here. So we're actually going through this shadow area that's quite important. And then take the lower left hand side and simply stretch that until you're happy with the distortion. Now it does need to come quite away. If you actually just pull this back, you can see the line of these windows is over here. That's gonna continue somewhere over here into where the tool palette is. So do make sure that you pull that out far enough to give yourself the true effect of the perspective. Once you've chosen your distortion, just go ahead and hit return or enter to say okay. And you'll see perfectly now, we have this wonderful scanline TV screen image applied to the side of the building.